This one goes out to my beautiful granddaughter, Frankie. We are doing wrap bugs today. Let's gather what we need, paper towel or toilet paper roll. We need string. We also need pipe cleaners and some scrap paper, colored if you have it, and some glue, white glue and a glue stick and some scissors. All right, if you're using a paper towel roll, cut it to a smaller size. Toilet paper roll is fine at the size that it is. Then you're gonna gather your string up, cut some long pieces, short pieces, whatever colors you have. Scraps are okay as well. Wrap time. Now we're gonna do our freestyle wrap first. That means just using your finger to hold one end of the string and starting to wrap around the roll. You can keep wrapping until it ends and cover as much of the paper as you want. And you can keep adding pieces, making sure you hold with your thumb the edge. And you can kind of go back over where you've rolled the first roll and then keep going. That way it'll stay put. Now we're going to do the precise wrapping. Precise wrapping meaning you're going to wrap and line it right up with the next wrap and keep going until you have completed the entire roll. This was, if you have one color and a lot of it, this works great. If you have a little piece that's sticking out, I used a glue stick and put some glue on the edge and just laid it down with my thumb onto the paper towel or toilet paper roll. And you keep rolling till you get to the end and you're gonna do the same thing by adding a little glue stick at that piece and holding it down five seconds until it adheres to the paper towel roll or toilet paper roll. If you have a couple loose uh, strings, you can add some glue stick to it and just hold it down. Um, or you can trim them up and make it all clean before you do the next step. All right, whether you've done precise wrap or freestyle wrap, we are moving on to our next step. You will need now a pipe cleaner one pipe cleaner per bug. I am going to fold my pipe cleaner in half and make a crease and now I'm going to cut in between that pipe cleaner giving me two pieces. One pipe cleaner per bug. So now I need to figure out what pipe cleaner I want for my green bug. I think I'm gonna use a blue pipe cleaner. Do the same thing, fold it in half, and you are going to cut it right in the middle and you should have for each bug two pieces. You are then going to fold each of those pieces in half as well. Here I am doing them for both bugs. Alrighty, we should now put our legs on our bug's body. We will do this with, uh, I did mine with white Elmer's glue. You can use white glue or if you have a glue gun and can get some help from a person that's older or uh, if you know that you can use it then that's fine too. But white glue works great because you can just put it on and let it dry for 12 hours and it will be adhered to the bug's body. But if you feel like you need to get that bug moving quicker um, you can use a glue gun if you have one. Um, here I'm just putting a nice little bead of white glue and I am going to lay my pipe cleaners right on top of that where the crease in my uh, legs are. That means that I will have symmetrical legs uh, lengthwise on my bugs. So right where I folded it in two, I am laying it into that bead of white Elmer's glue.
While your legs are drying, you can work on your eyes. If you have some googly eyes, those work great. Or you can just get a piece of scrap paper and draw your eyes. I drew several different ones and decided which ones I liked the best. All right, now that our eyes are completed, let's work on our wings. Our wings are going to be circular, and if you can find something to trace, I used a roll of tape or maybe a small cup and draw a contour line around it, meaning the outer edge with a pencil, and take some scissors and cut out your circle. Once you've cut out the circle, you are then going to cut that in half equal parts. Those are your wings for your bug that you will glue on once the legs are dry. Here I am doing one in red and one already done in yellow. I will decide which colored wings will go with which bug when my legs are completely dry. All right, so woke up this morning and found my bug legs were dry and ready to mold into workable legs. You can play around with the pipe cleaners and see how they sit up and how you want your bug to kind of sit on a flat surface. After that, you are going to add glue to your wings and glue those down as well as your eyes. And you can decide how you want the wings to be placed on the back of your bug. And you're going to have to let this dry as well if you're using white glue. If you're using a glue gun and have someone to help you uh, so you don't burn yourself, that would be great as well if you want it done immediately. Here I used just simple Elmer's glue and it worked fantastic. I decided that I wanted to give my bug a tongue. I cut out a piece of green uh, shaped long rectangular and cut out a triangle at the end to kind of have a fork at the end of the tongue. And I glued it down the roll so that it would stay and you could only see it coming out of the bug. I also made one for my red bug and I kind of made polka dots on the back of the wings. It kind of looks like a ladybug, but I'm calling it a love bug. And I also made a tongue for this as well, cutting out a piece of paper and making a uh, triangle at the end, kind of made a fork in the tongue as well. As I use white glue, I am going to let these dry for 12 hours. And here are my completed bugs. This one, I have a piece of pizza on his tongue called the pizza eating bug that I drew a little piece of pizza. And on this one, I decided to draw a little heart and call this my little love bug. Thank you for visiting me. I'm over and out of here. Until next time, if you can imagine it, you can make it and you 
can change your world. Bye for now. Stay safe.